Oh, what up, peeps? It's your girl, Dash, coming back to Frontal Takes. Well, you guys, I'm here to do a review for the movie Shazam. And let me say, first and foremost, I enjoyed the movie immensely. This was great. All I can say is I'm really loving what DC is doing right now. Of course, you know, we're doing coming off of the tail end of a big, you know, went for Aquaman doing so well at the box office in December. You know, we have, of course, Shazam now out, did very well uh, this first weekend out. I think it made almost 60 million, I think somewhere around 57, 58 million. Yay for them. Then we have, of course, Joker, which just dropped um, a teaser trailer, which was just on a whole nother level. So I'm just loving how moving forward, they're just kind of, you know, finding their way finding their niche so to speak as i've been saying and i'm loving what i'm seeing so with this particular one when i saw the trailer months ago last year i want to say around what early fall or so when we saw something i was not familiar with shazam so when i saw the trailer i was like okay this is a little different you know it had of course it's you know serious you know a little bit of you know serious drama tone but then it had the comedy and then the main person at the helm was zachary levi and i'm a fan of his work so i said okay i think i'm going to want to see this so once i see another trailer this will kind of you know solidify it and it did you got to see a little bit more of course with other characters in this movie you know his sidekicks uh, of course billy batson you know freddie uh dr savannah things of that nature so it was all kind of putting together what the movie's going to look like and i was already on board so of course tickets went on sale i had to go so let's just go ahead and jump into it first and foremost again I really enjoy Zachary Levi in this movie. I think he was wonderful playing a young boy who was basically in some ways trapped in an adult body trying to figure out how to navigate, how to deal with things, you know, as of course a child and also as an, what looks like being a grown adult who has superpowers. Um, I love how you're introduced to Billy Batson. Um, of course, I won't spoil this. Let me just put that out there. I should have said that at the beginning. I won't spoil whichever because I really would prefer you all to really enjoy this because I don't want to take it out away from you. Um, getting to know Billy Batson, of course, dealing with the situation and there's certain things in regards to his life that we're going to get to see him basically deal with an address. Now, as you all know, he's kind of at the beginning of the movie very... Um, like an antsy kid kind of wants to be a loner on his own but of course certain things that he's done and has done it leads him to um a foster home you know he meets two people who are, who are loving wants to bring him into the fold now i will say i did enjoy how in most movies or even tv shows you don't really get to see a more um portrayal of understanding foster life you know being a foster kid so with this one they delved into a little bit it didn't have a full out arc in it but i love what we saw for representation of it you know these two parents really only want the best for him and the other kids who are living you know in this foster home i thought that was done very very well um for him of course like you said he goes into this of course you get introduced to billy meeting freddie Played by, what is it, Jack Dylan Grazer. Now, if you all know who he is, he was actually in the movie uh, Stephen King's It. He'll be in Stephen King's It too. He plays Eddie, young Eddie. Um, he does a great job. I will say I enjoyed their banter at times because you can tell Freddie's very lively, very active. You know, he definitely loves his comics. You do see little, you know little instances throughout the parts when he's discussing certain things or you know about you know getting this you know like a you know what is it a bullet that you see parts about you know i'm discussing you know batman or seeing things in his drawers things all that all over the place whichever i love how dc did that adding that into the uh, mix whichever so he has his feelings about certain things you know about life about you know comic book heroes just how things are just how they are you know when you don't notice certain things just his whole take on how things should be or are whichever and him trying to school billy on this you know billy of course be a little bit more um kind of rough around edges being that he's been out into the world life whatever freddie kind of can't understand it so they don't kind of see that part i die whatever and all that billy's just kind of like this brother's talking too much to me i ain't here for this i have things i'm trying to do in the missus whichever so you know in regards to of course you know i don't want to spoil that so i almost caught myself so needless to say there's a scene where of course he comes to the aid of freddie being bullied and i can't stand bullies whichever so a little bit of what they got they deserve whichever now you all see in the trailer of course it's the scene where he of course you know fights them off and he runs away and they try to catch him but they can't and that's when you kind of see the scene where it comes into play with the wizard now let's just go back for a second i will say i enjoyed the scenes of uh, Jumanju Hansu playing the wizard, you getting to learn um, a little bit of the backstory with him 
of course, prior to him bringing Billy to him to his what looks to be his lair, you see the scene where we do get introduced to what's considered the villain in the movie, which is played by Mark Strong as Dr. Uh, Savannah. I love the scenes where you kind of see a situation with him prior to him, of course, you know, present day, a scene of him, you know, in his um, earlier life, his younger life, whichever, which kind of opens up to understand the scene. So for me, who does not read the comics, this is very helpful to me. And I love that. Uh, it was nice to see how, you know, we came to understand why Dr. Savannah is the way he is dealing with the situation with, you know, the dramatic you know conclusion of something that happens with his family his father and his brother and then you see the scene where he turns out the way he is and of course us dealing with the seven daily deadly sins excuse me so yes now going back to billy bass and of course being introduced to the wizard him learning all about him you know meeting him in his lair and all that and of course him saying you know say my name so my powers can flow through you and of course you know when he says his name you know <laughs> billy laughs and he's just like say it that was funny even in the trailer and to this day i still laugh when i saw it in the movie so of course that's when he of course you know you know says it and these things start happening he's of course an adult and of course that's when you see him reaching out to freddie and he's to him because he's like you all you know about all these comic book stuff you know i need your help and that's when of course that's where i feel like i really enjoyed seeing a uh, freddie and shazam now i said freddie and, and you know and billy you know you i can understand you know them both being teenage and all but him bonding better with shazam and having that little bit of a friendship kinship of sorts was really a nice part that i really enjoyed throughout the entire movie of course, sometimes they didn't get along because, of course, Freddy thinks he should do this or do that. And, of course, Shazam, you know, Billy, of course, inside that 14-year-old kind of coming out wanting to do this and all that, doing certain things, trying to make a little money, showing off his little tricks that he knows with his abilities, whatever. I really enjoyed those scenes. Um, yeah, that that part was really nice, whichever, and especially when Freddy would get on him about doing certain things where he's not focusing on, you know, not understanding, you have, having his powers, the responsibility of them all. That's that comic book, you know, type of, you know, statement, stigma you always hear throughout. So it was just refreshing. And then, of course, you know, Shazam being introduced to Dr. Savannah in a certain way where he's wanting certain things from him, whichever. And basically, that's when he has to basically step up and figure out what he needs to do to deal, you know, as he put him, you know, so you the bad guy, right? You know, just dealing with him in that in that particular, you know, form. And that was really, really good. I love seeing him, even though as, as me as a movie goer watching him, you know, him getting in these little scenes with the power or whatever, with the action, whatever. It's just like, boy, do something. I had to remind myself that he's a child inside of a grown man. He doesn't know what to do yet, whatever. He's learning. He's learning very fast because he truly has no choice but to learn. Frey's trying to explain things to him about dealing with the villain, whatever and all, but he has to finally come into his own with these powers and all that and truly understand his overall responsibility now because now he has this. It's not like he can truly give it away. He has inherited this through the wizard and now he has to finally, you know, not always be the kid he really is but you know when you're in this full overall ecstatic where you're an adult with powers it's like now you have to find a way to you know the balance of it all so i love those scenes i loved how as i said can't spoil it certain things start to happen where he starts to put two and two together and then certain things happen from there with his family because of course dr savannah wants to use his family against him his the other foster kids and eventually it doesn't work. He overpowers him in certain scenes or whatever where he's able to bring his family into the fold and then they're able to help and then, you know, deal with the, you know, seven deadly sins. Now, there's one scene I thought was very hilarious, which I can't really get into it because it'll definitely take away from it. The scene where Dr. Savannah is speaking to Shazam and I'll just put it like this. That scene is really funny. When you see the overall context of it, hilarious so hilarious that we were all dying in the theater because it's just so cliche but it was very funny but in the end overall again like i stated the whole movie was done very well the amount of uh time on screen with the kids i thought would kind of take away from that but it really didn't i think it was balanced out good the kids you know for the parts that they played did very well you know with the other foster kids and also with billy and freddie's characters as well zachary definitely did his parts awesome dr savannah aka mark strong was great as the villain this was a great movie i'll tell you i said about dc that i hope with them of course slowly moving forward now everything through them has to be dark and i like that this is a little bit more lighthearted. you had your drama you had your action you had your you know your comedy i thought it was nicely evened out throughout the whole movie this is one of i want to say one of the best films within the dcu i'm not saying it's the i said one of and i really enjoyed that i can say that so honestly when this comes 
comes out, I definitely plan to add this to my collection. This is one of those ones I would definitely watch um, at home and definitely will want everyone else to see this. Please go see this movie, you guys. I didn't want to spoil anything. There's quite a few things in there, little, you know, Easter eggs here. And also, I will say this because it seems to be a thing now that DC is doing as well. If you all don't know, stay to the end. You might understand a little bit of the ending. There were certain parts of that part at the end. I kind of was a little lost, whichever, but you know, it's fine, whichever. I'll figure it out or somebody might kind of give me a couple of things to add to it for me to put into overall understanding. But as Marvel does, definitely do not leave right away. I can say that I'm not spoiling it or anything because I'm not telling you anything. So you all just know to stay because all of us actually did because some people probably had an inkling they might show something. So, but in the end, this was done very, very very well. I really think you all will truly enjoy Shazam and I'm very glad it did good and it was number one at the box office uh, this weekend. So with that said you guys, I hope you enjoyed my review. Comment below let me know what you think and with that said I will see you in the next one. You guys take care.